Hello there. How are you doing? I'm so happy that you've decided to join me. And just a quick disclaimer, because this has been happening a lot. If you're looking for a normal, non-ASMR Baldur's Gate playthrough, I'm sorry that you accidentally clicked on my video. I know some people find ASMR weird, but please don't downvote it. That's been happening a lot with my Baldur's Gate videos. But if you were looking for a relaxing, whisper, hard candy, Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough, you've come to the right place. So this will be the beginning of my journey in the full release on my channel. I took a vote of what type of character I should play, and Evil was the overwhelming winner. And then I had an option between either a succubus, pirate, or dark urge druid, and the succubus was the clear winner. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I was thinking about it, and I think I might still do a Dark Urge. I'm going to combine the Dark Urge and the Succubus and do a Neutral Evil, also known as True Evil Alignment. You remember nothing but a path paved with blood. Unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? Your appearance in class can be fully customized. So we're going to go with this. And we're going to... So it tries to give you a dragonborn, apparently, is what it wants. Okay. Edit. Appear. Okay, let's go back. Proceed. I'm going to go with, if it's going to be a succubus, us looking into it. And Lilith is the name of, a, I think, the succubus queen from some type of literature. I looked into it, but not as deeply as I should have, apparently. I also don't know if Lilith has two L's in the middle, but we're going to go with this. And with Diablo 4 being so popular right now, Lilith seems like a fitting name. So we're going to go with the tiefling. What are the different body types? Okay, that's huge. So tiefling has like... Oh, okay. Let's be smaller. Okay. Subrace. Asmodeus. Mephistoles. And Zariel. These tieflings are gifted with a particular affinity for arcane magic. These tiefling inherited the ability to wield fire and darkness from the archdevil. Magic would be helpful. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go with magic. I'm going to do a warlock bard. Also, sometimes called a... Hard lock. Okay. So we're gonna go with female. Remarkable. Good luck. Follow your instincts. Remarkable. I thought there were more voice options, but I guess not. Okay, which face do I between these two? I think this one's better. Okay. I don't think any scars. Let's do what do I want red or purple? I've been thinking about this and I'm torn. Maybe a blue. Art. 
this is way better than the early access character creation. It's much faster. I kind of like that. Maybe black, but I thought there's a slider for the intensity. Does that look dumb? I cannot tell. Settling a bit. Yeah, let's go with yellow. And less white. We're going with yellow. Okay, makeup. Yeah, let's do something like this to really make the eyes pop. I 
missing something. Almost kind of like that. Kind of like that as well. Where the heck is it? I like call it like the Ariana Grande hair, like the tall, long ponytail. Oh, is this it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, we want a different hair color though. I think dark. Yeah, something like that. The highlights look stupid. subtle. Okay, no. No graying. Okay, now let's give her a beard. <laughs> Tempted to use something like this for the thumbnail, but no, let's go no beard. And then finally the horn. What type of horns do we want? I kind of go in favor of a more subtle. subtle not to look like too too red. I think that's a good color. I like how she looks. I thought there was a tail option before, but maybe not. Freckles. Nope, nothing for the tail. Okay. Venture. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I'm going to have to go back. I don't think I picked my class. Oh, my God. What an idiot. Well, there's probably going to be a cut here. Sorry about that weird cut. We are back. I have remade Lilith as a warlock. Okay. We are going to name her Lilith again. Now we need to pick our guardian. Do we want a tiefling? I kind of like the look. She's very similar to me. But let's make her bigger. Wake up. Come. 
covered in blood. This is new. So yeah, for my personal playthrough, I'm just playing a normal the blood in your head custom blood character. Pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull. Besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Curse whoever did this to you. Say your name aloud. You have a part of yourself. Take a deep breath, shake your head, and start anew. So I'm going for true evil. So I feel like curse whoever did this to you is the most fitting option. The torture behind this cruel prank will meet your malice when you get out of here. Killing. Now that sounds like your first good idea. So yeah, for my personal playthrough, my head. I'm just playing as a normal custom character, so this dark urge should be new to me. Let's check out the nursery. I've never passed this before. This ability check. Let's investigate. Fingers crossed. Let's see if I pass. Never. I've never passed this in all my playthroughs. I want to know what happens. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Well, that was a mistake. Also, I want to go into my settings real quick and make sure that karmic dice is turned off. I should also probably make sure there's no nudity over this one. Where is the dice option? Karmic dice, okay, it stayed turned off. So if you have this game and you haven't checked that out, seems like Karmic Dice is kind of a uh, controversial setting. Um, it basically fudges the rolls in the game, the dice rolls, to make sure that you don't get any like winning or losing streaks. So if you get like a really bad roll, it's gonna make it so you're less likely to get another bad roll back to back from my understanding of it, but I don't want to fudge my roll, so I turn it off. Better. Nice one gold. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. So I've been doing some research into true evil, and uh, so basically you do whatever benefits you, like you're not going to just kill someone for fun, even though I might do that as a dark urge, but if it benefits you in any way, you won't hesitate to kill someone or do something bad. Let's see what's going on here. Who abducted you? 
I've never noticed the tears coming out of his eyes before during this part. That's a pretty sad detail. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Me us. Let's see if we can gently prize the brain from the skull. Does that mean like pry? Oh shit. Oh my god, do squish it. Let's see how this goes. E. The brain might budge. Well, I guess I'll destroy it. I haven't really 
heavily used laser on my playthrough. No choice but to keep going. Nice.
because the mind of ours don't, our intellect of ours aren't bothered by us. I used the gold key. Did I get what I need? The console appears dormant. Shove this thing. 
this game got an achievement for killing Commander Salak. I'm just wondering how he did that. Maybe is there something that like the next Sorry if uh, 
this isn't a great one, but this intro is always kind of rough. Like just getting through this, you don't have much, much freedom, and there's a lot of dialogue and stuff, so it's hard for me to talk. But anyway, I was talking about earlier about being true evil, and I guess a good archetype for this alignment is Boba Fett, from what I was reading. Um, so that's who I'm going to kind of model this after. A little bit different, obviously, since I have like a murderous urge. And it's like a succubus, so I'm going to try to be more manipulative. But basically, my character is going to only be out for herself. You picked the wrong fight, friend. If it, something benefits me, I'm going to go for it and not really care about how it affects other people. But I've never really played a character like this before, so this will be new for me to do an evil, an evil playthrough. God, this thing's almost dead. That's not good. button to rotate the camera. That's good to know. for the 
this whole playthrough or if that eventually washes off. Good night.